welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle Morlet, and I'm pretty much like your free online stylist. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I got from ThreadUp, and this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and I finally, what do they say, um, bit the bullet, I don't know what the saying is, but I finally did it. We have all seen the countless ads on Instagram, Facebook, etc maybe snapchat i don't know but it is everywhere and i'm really excited that i was finally able to give it a try i grew up shopping secondhand and i didn't grow up with a lot of money and so i'm really excited that this whole sustainability shopping secondhand thing is on a rise because it's sort of destigmatizing all of the bad things associated with shopping secondhand when in reality it's really good for the environment it's good for your wallet it's good for the labor workers in third world countries. It's just good all over. One of my goals for 2020 is to reduce the amount of normal clothes that I buy. You know what I mean? If that even makes sense. I don't wanna restrict myself from shopping completely because I do enjoy shopping, but the part about shopping that I enjoy isn't finding something like brand new or it's not about the brand either. It's just finding something unique and special and sort of making it my own. And so that is what my goal for 2020 is gonna be. I'm going to start tracking and maybe every month I'll do like a little review and calculate how much money I spent on thrifted goods versus firsthand shopping. Um, but I think that I'm off to a good start. This top that I'm wearing was from a vintage store here in Houston, it's called Flamingo and I love that store. They have really good things. I think I paid $6 for it and it's so cute. I feel like a little house on the prairie. I'm about to go churn some butter. So without further ado, I am about to show you guys what I got. All right, I'm starting out with a banger. This jacket slash dress, I don't even know what it is, is by far my favorite thing that I got. I wore it in New York when I went two weekends ago. I felt like an edgy version of Blair Waldorf. It's just the most conservative, but like edgy little sweater dress thing. And I love how you can unbutton it and you can like wear it as a little sweater over maybe some like ripped jeans and like a graphic tee or something like that. Um, but then you can also elevate it by buttoning it down all the way um, and wearing it with some tights and some heels, which is what I did. Minus the heels part, I just wore rain boots because it was raining all weekend. I just noticed everything comes in a bag like this that is, uh, made for returns so if you get it and you don't like it all you have to do is peel this off and send it back like it's the easiest process i feel like more companies should make for re making returns this easy because i think what stops a lot of people from online shopping especially like the older generation no offense is the return they don't know how how it works like is it complicated all that stuff and i just feel like they made it really really easy uh, oh by the way obviously this is not sponsored i'm just like your average gal shopping on the red up just a disclaimer obviously it's not sponsored okay i just had a really pleasant experience and so i want to tell you guys about it um especially because i know that a lot of people will tell me oh i don't know how to thrift shop or i don't know you know like what i want or what to look for and i just feel like thread up sort of made it makes it really easy for most people to shop thrifted goods, you know, or at least secondhand. You can filter your searches, which just makes it so much easier because I know that the one complaint people have about just going to like a Goodwill or a thrift store is the sizing and then they don't know, they can't find what they want. When, in my opinion, when you're going thrifting, you're not really going for anything specific because you never know what you're gonna find. Where at ThreadUp, I feel like you can filter your results for your size and then also spurt, spurt, search specific items that you're looking for. So it's a win-win for all. Anyways, yeah, I love this. Let me see how much I paid for it. It was new with tags and I paid $23.80 and it was originally $149. So I saved 79% and it was brand new with tags. What a steal. The next little dress that I got is this one from Forever 21, it's also brand new with tags. Um, I have not worn it. I have worn all of the other pieces, minus this one, because I think I'm gonna wear this for a holiday party or something like that. I bought this because I wanted to add my own black furry trim to make it a little bit more girly and like more my style. 
And adding the black furry trim is super easy. You can do it with fabric glue or you can sew it on. Now that I know how to sew, I will probably sew it on. But yeah, that's, that's sort of why I bought it. But I think it would be really pretty on its own too. It has really good movement. And this one was, this is from Forever 21. And we all know they are the kings and queens of fast fashion. And I am not judging here because I used to shop at Forever 21 and Shein all the freaking time. I was like the Shein queen. Everybody who knew me in my personal life was always like, anything Shein related, they would just ask me. Like, sizing questions about a random product because I knew how to shop on Shein. So, truly no judgment, but I'm just saying my point of view on things like that are changing and I just want to be transparent over here. So I purposely do not shop at Shein or like fast fashion places anymore and I try to be more conscious of the brands and stores that I am giving my money to. For example, the last first hand purchase I made was a pair of Revice denim and they're actually handmade and made to order in LA and so they're sustainable, they're ethical and they're a really good price point and I just love that they're handmade by someone and they're made to order so they're not making clothes in excess you know so anyways I'm trying to be more conscious of where I'm spending my money I paid $12.80 for it and it originally cost $22.90 so it's new with tags can't beat that the next thing that I got are these really cool metallic snake print jeggings I was a little bit thrown off when I first got these, not gonna lie, because online, yes, online they did say jegging, but I thought it was like an inaccurate description or something. I was like, are they sure that's a jegging? Yes, Gabby, yeah, they're sure. They're from Express. I Poppy! Swear to God. I was a little bit skeptical before I tried them on. I was like, these are not gonna fit. They're gonna be so unflattering. I'm gonna hate them. I'm like a negative Nancy over here. And I put them on, and I was like, wow, I love these. Okay, excuse my mess of room, but this is my outfit of the day today. I am wearing these little jeggings that I got from ThreadUp, and I was a little skeptical about the jeggings thing, not gonna lie. But they pretty much look like jeans, and they feel like leggings. Hence the jeggings, but... They do not look like a jegging at all. I wore them to the airport when I flew to New York, which is actually the most comfortable thing ever, because I'm like wearing leggings, but it looks like I'm wearing pants. Duh, that's jegging. I never thought I would wear jeggings. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not judging you if you wear jeggings. I'm just saying that was like a fad I was not participating in by any means. But I was pleasantly surprised. And the best thing is no one knows that they're leggings. And, Cause they even have belt loops and they zip up. The only difference is the material is not denim. It's like a stretchy material. These were not new with tags, but that's okay. Um, they didn't have any like stains or rips or anything. They were in really good condition. These were originally $88 and I paid $11.97. Wait, now that I look at it. Yeah, the picture online is not very accurate. They honestly look like jeans and I think that's why I was like, I don't think that they're actually jeggings because I will insert a picture right here of what the online photo looks like so you can tell me like what you think, but Thankfully, I was still pleasantly surprised when they came in after I tried them on and they fit really well and I shop at Express like I, I used to shop at Express all the time and so I'm very familiar with like their sizing, their brands and I think that's one good thing I like about ThreadUp is that they're brands that we already shop and know and I sound like an ad, I swear to God I'm not, but you know how the sizing is going to fit. They were a little bit big around the waist but I just wore a belt with them and they're fine, like I'll be okay. Okay, and the last thing that I got are these black Hudson jeans, and once again, Hudson jeans are like my favorite brand ever, but they're so expensive. I can't believe I ever bought Hudson jeans because after I discovered Zara jeans and like Express jeans, I'm like, how did I spend $200 on jeans? Like that's outrageous. So these jeans were originally $190 and I paid $13.20. These were also not new with tags, which is fine. I mean, they're jeans, they're durable. 
I already own a pair of black Hudson jeans, but they have rips all over the knees and I can't really wear them to work. And so I can get away with wearing like color jeans and stuff to work as long as there's no like rips or anything and it's conservative and all of that stuff. So I'm really happy with these. I bought these because I also wanted to add a black furry trim to the bottom. I just think that would be so freaking cute. So whenever I do that to these jeans, I will film it and post it on here. So make sure you're subscribed. My channel is leaning more towards sustainable fashion and sewing and but not like grandma sewing. That concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, which article of clothing was your favorite. And let me know if you guys have ever shopped on ThreadUp dot com um i would love to hear your feedback on it too but that is it for me today thank you guys again so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe down below and give it a little thumbs up i will leave my instagram handle right here in case you're curious probably not i will see you guys in my next video take care